Gathering Moon Cream. The moon represents yin energy. Imagine an earth with only yang energy. We would only have sun. The earth would be desiccated. It would be dry. It would not be a planet on which we could survive. It would be like Mercury. We must have the cooling energy, the moon energy to grow. In our body, yin are our vital substances. It's the actual stuff in our body, our blood, our marrow, our um, phlegm, our anything that is, has substance is yin. And if we don't have enough yin and we have yin deficiency of specific organs, we'll have a lot of health problems. It could be different chemical imbalances. It could be emotional. So it's very important for us to nurture yin. We're coming into the season of yin, of winter, and that will be something that we'll talk about in the winter challenge. But each month we have nine days to gather in, really visualize and gather in the yin substance from the moon, the moon cream, if you will. And that's around the time of the full moon. And it's actually more than the once a month when we look at the um, Gregorian calendar. In China, they have the lunar calendar and they're very, very attuned to this moon cycle. Ideally, you want to do this outside and only on a clear night. If there is fog, pollution, too many clouds, like a few wispy clouds are okay, but too much blocking the moon, the energy you draw in, in China, in the Chinese medicine theory, it's considered to be turbid or dirty. You don't want to bring it in. You only want to do this exercise outside when it's a beautiful, bright, clear sky and the moon is above. I was up in the mountains yesterday and the moon was so bright, I literally could almost see color. It was just such an incredibly bright moon. And that's the energy we're going to bring in. Stand with your feet, um, shoulder width apart or hip width apart. Just feel comfortable. Sink your heels to the ground and stretch your spine up. Rid your mind of thought. And that means just focus on how your body is feeling. Just stand calmly, breathe. And we're going to begin by just standing with our hands by our sides and imagine you're gazing up at the moon. Your eyes are about 50% open and closed and you just imagine the moon up above you. And breathe softly. And then we're going to take in little sips. We're going to imagine we're drinking the cream off the moon and it's going to sound like this. And do that as many times as you can. And then close your lips and envision the cream in your mouth. And you're going to drink that cream and swallow it down to your lower dantian, this area right you know that we talk about often right behind and below the belly button so let's go ahead and practice that shoulders are down spine is straight heels are pressing into the ground hands at your sides gazing up at the moon inhale swish the cream around in your mouth and then see the white moon cream as you swallow and bring it down to your lower dantian. Now we're going to go ahead and stretch our hands to embrace the moon. You reach up, envision this energy, your fingers drawing in the moon energy, the light, a straight line coming from the moon in your fingers through your arms, your shoulders, and down into your body, bringing in the moon energy. And now you're going to take your hands and you're going to feel that moon energy between your Lao Gong points. 
and place that energy above your upper dantian, the top of your head. You're going to see that moon between your hands. Feel the moon energy glistening and energizing. Now, keep that moon there. And we're going to bring another second moon to our middle dantian, right in front of your chest. So you have the moon still in your upper dantian above your head, and you've now added a second moon, and you're holding it in front of your chest. Feel the energy of the upper moon and this middle moon. Hold the second moon here, and we're going to lower now and bring a third moon just in front of our lower dantian. So you should be visualizing the upper moon, the middle moon, and now the lower moon. Place your hands by your side, seeing all three moons. As you inhale now, you're going to press the upper moon into the top of your head, bringing all of that moon energy into your head, into the Bahuai point which is that point that we reach from when we come from the top of our ears to the top of our head. So you press in that moon energy. Now bring your hands in front of your chest and press in the second moon, filling your middle dantian with that beautiful moon energy, the moon cream. And then lastly, press in the moon energy in your lower dantian. And now we're going to tap nine times at the Bahuay point, which is that one, that top of the head to kind of top back. If you need to find it, go to the tips of your ears and trace a line up and where the fingers meet in the middle, that's the point. Um, men, you're gonna tap nine times, pat nine times with your left hand and ladies, we'll pat nine times with our right hand. Bring your hand up and we're gonna pat slowly and gently nine times four five six seven eight nine and we'll close our moon cream by s by pulling in the heavens or n um, natural respiration inhale your arms up to the side exhale and integrate all of that beautiful moon energy With your left hand open and your right hand in a light fist, bring your hands together in front of your chest and just drop your chin. Release. I hope you'll look at the moon in a new way. The moon is the source of beautiful yin energy that you can draw upon and bring into your body. It can nurture your vital substances and keep you in balance.